check one, two. Okay. In my defense, it's, it's been a couple weeks since I streamed. Just making sure the mic's working for y'all. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. We'll be live in just a moment. Time. I think it's time to get into this. Sounds lovely, right? Woo! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a black screen that's going to load in just a second. Perfect! Wait a second, there's something wrong about this. One moment, please! What in the- how did that happen? What are you doing, game? I don't think I asked you to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh of all the things i checked to make sure everything was perfect for you all i missed the scaling oh my goodness don't you worry we're gonna get this fixed right as rain oh my gosh <laughs> so how are you all doing today i'm having a fantastic day myself because we're gonna be showing off some job board features right that's exciting that's really cool there we go. I think that's fixed. It's fixed, right? I need a yay or a nay. Say yes, everything's as it was supposed to be. Or B, no, I can't tell what's going on. Please send help. Oh, goodness. But welcome, everybody. I am your host, Eric Schrader, the community ambassador for Rockfish Games, the creators of Everspace and soon to be Everspace 2. We've been making some really fantastic progress. You can actually see the progress you're seeing in these streams now. In the upper left corner, it shows the alpha build number that I'm currently working on. So I can't, I can't sneak that bio anymore. You know that we're making progress, okay? It is good. Good, good progress. So um, we're just going to dive right into this because I think that that's what you want me to do. That's what I want to do. I'm excited. You're excited. What are jobs? Let's do this. Ah, ah okay. Here we are. So we're starting at a location that we technically haven't even shown yet, okay? But I have to go here in order to get job boards. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a catch-22. You get to see a little bit of new scenery. I'm gonna, you don't, I'm not gonna give you the full tour, okay? I'm not giving you the full tour. It's just this little area that I'm gonna be showing, okay? You kinda get, you get a little sense of what's going on here. This is Nefty's Plains. It is on the same planet where the scrapyard is located, except on the other side. Um, so, well, kind of on the other side. Anyway, that's too much information, because the information we're showing off is right down here where it says job board. So first, let's look at our ship. 
Um, just to kind of give you, ooh, ooh, tantalizing. Nope, not today. Not today. Uh, first, let's look at our ship uh, just to know what we've got going on here. We have um, all these devices that we did show off last time. Um, if you weren't able to make the stream for our device showcase, just know that we talked a lot about them um, and a lot of work in progress stuff. Now, um, I am not going to click on these devices and change them around anymore during the streams because we are very intentional about working on those things. And if I'm showing you like all the tweaks and adjustments, it's going to look weird. It's going to be distracting. So you're just going to see the devices that we have locked in place from here on forward. And you're going to see some unique little changes and updates to that. Don't you worry. It's just to keep things a little bit more streamlined and clean. We also did talk about the different modes. So you can actually see me changing the modes there. Oh, the sound is also really low. I will change that in just a moment. But each of the devices do have certain modes associated with them. For example, we have the compressor, energized boost, double speed boost, half duration, blah, blah, blah. That's really exciting for all the devices. We want to go over here to the job boards. So right now we have this one mission that we've taken from the GMB defense uh, faction, okay? And we have the minesweeper. Don't, don't worry about the completed missions down below, okay? Just ignore those. There's nothing to see there. What we're focusing on are these jobs. So we have this minesweeper job under GMB defense. So in order to obtain jobs, we actually go over here to the job board itself and you can see a list of a bunch of different jobs from three different factions within GMB. We have GMB trading, we have GMB defense, and we have GMB mining. Okay, there's a lot of information here on the screen all at once. So let's start from the left and work our way to the right. So the available jobs themselves, my hair doing a funny thing, the available jobs themselves are exactly what they sound like. They are go to these locations and do the things, okay? The things vary based on the, the, the title of the job. Uh, we're going to be showing off three specific jobs today. We're going to be doing the minesweeper job, we'll be doing a search and destroy, and we'll be doing a shipping job. Um, there aren't a lot of jobs that are fleshed out yet, but rest assured there are going to be so many different types that actually have meaningful impact to what you choose and uh, your relationship with these different factions. In fact, as you can see through the trading, if you look right above me, right, we see all this information. We have 500 experience, we have 1,000 credits, we have 100 standing, it says freelancer, and it shows GMB trading, and there's that little tracker bar underneath okay you look right right up here there's this little tracker this little indicator shows me where i'm at that orange right there shows me how much that's going to increase when i complete this job so when i hover over gmb mining you'll actually see i've already done a little bit of jobs here the white is where i'm at the orange is where i would go to and you'll see that we'd be crossing a new tier with our faction uh, uh relationship with the gmb mining faction so we are going to take this Minesweeper job to increase our reputation with them over that gold line into the next tier. Underneath, these are the rewards for completing the job. It's not one where you choose a reward. You actually get all of those. They're all bundled together. You can mouse over them. Whoops. You can mouse over them to see exactly what they are. Uh, you don't get the details of weapons and whatnot. We're trying to figure out how much information we want to provide here um, but there could very well be other jobs where you get a selection of like say three different legendary items that you know that's a little bit extreme but you could you would be able to have those possibilities through completing the job so that's that's everything up here there's a lot of information and then obviously the description is right in the middle so for a minesweeper you clear the mines at a location pretty straightforward right so uh, there isn't a lot of fancy UI and sound effects when selecting jobs and whatnot, so we're going to accept this and, like, it, it's literally just added to, to our job board. <laughs> but rest assured, it is working, it's just not very flashy yet. Um, I show this screen and of course it's not there. Um, let me go back really quick. Is it going to show up now? No? I know we took it on. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it says, new job, Minesweeper. We have our details, we can track it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to uh, go into our missions now, there it is. We wanna track this one. And the reason for that is because again, even though these are both the same job, this one is in fact a job specifically for the GMB defense, whereas this one is GMB mining. And we want to up our reputation with GMB mining. 
So hopefully I can get to this location without any trouble. But we are going to go ahead and track it. You can see there's just a very light green indicator for now that shows which one's being tracked. And that track is going to show us what we see when we fly out to space. Oh, we also need to adjust our sound. Audio! Woo! Okay. So we are going to go ahead and fly out. I'm going to show you a little bit of super light. We're not getting anything crazy. But we want to head over to this location way out in the middle of nowhere. Now we have shown the map a couple of times. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. We're in the GMB mining fields. So this is where we're going to find a lot of jobs specifically from GMB makes a lot of sense. Uh, this is very different as opposed to our home turf where we might find different outlaws, uh, maybe some other interesting characters in that space to either work with or um, uh, not work with. And uh, it kind of goes from there. Each of these regions kind of is discovered as you move around. And then obviously you're going to have a lot of other different regions and other factions to do jobs with all of that stuff accordingly from there. A lot of people are saying, hello, Eric, congratulations about your child, all that type of stuff. Thank you so much. It's good to be back. Maybe if my, uh, if my newborn isn't, uh, isn't doing too bad, I might even show her on stream just for kicks and giggles. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we're going to be focusing on these jobs. Our job is way over here in this unknown region. So we're going to go ahead and add that little marker to it. And you'll see that it makes it nice and easy to track as we fly away from Nefty's planes in this direction. So we're gonna go ahead and lock on an autopilot. Um, ironically enough, we removed fast travel in our current build. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna hang out <laughs> and watch this as we fly. Uh, we are now in open space. That is the region that we are in. Uh, as you can see right here, this is the open space region. We also have an unknown signal. We might do one of those for you guys just for fun. And we're gonna complete this mine operation. And by mine, I mean mine sweeping. Oh, oh my goodness. So this is a random area that I have no idea what it's gonna show. It might not even have like the light boxes correct and everything. So if it looks like trash, um, work in progress. Okay. That's, that's the shortcut answer. <laughs> okay. We're going to see it. Actually, I think, yeah, nothing. Okay. We do have the sun working properly. That's good. Um, we have to clear the mines. Perfect. So we're going to fly about and we're going to take care of this mine problem for this faction and claim our reward. We also have a little bit of debris nearby. Maybe, maybe we'll see, um, whoops. Maybe we'll see if there's anything. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got some containers. Also, there's some new sound uh, going going on. Oh, there's, ooh, there's a little bit of laggage I'm seeing on screen. But there's a lot of new sounds that we've been working on for the weapons. So, for example, the pulse laser. Nice, meaty pulse laser. I'm a, I'm a fan of this new sound adjustment myself. We also have the auto cannon. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness. We're gonna be going through uh, a lot of the other weapons too, but uh, we're making progress. As Bloodstar says, mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> so, oh! <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this container. We got a TI processor, a cruise booster. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and head to this minefield, see what's going on. And clear it out. Whoa, okay, all right. So I think this would actually be a really good time to utilize our EMP generator. Uh, oh wait, no, it was the, it was the, dang it, I equipped the wrong device for the job. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna destroy these manually. That's okay. They got a nice hearty explosion though, so it's fun to see. What I was gonna say is that there is a device that allows you to uh, effectively fly through a minefield and it just disables them all. And it's the 
um, the missile defense system, one of the modes allows you to do just that. And we missed a mine. Okay, now we got it. Nice simple clearing of mines, nothing too crazy. For this particular job. Good choppy chain gun. I know, right? It feels it feels so good. Ah, like it's got more base to it. Like there's a bit more weight to it. And uh, I'm I'm enjoying where it's going. We're not done yet though. We're still making still making more progress. All right. We got all that. We have some uh, outlaw drones it looks like. We'll go ahead and engage and take them out. So some color color options here. You'll see that we have an outlaw drone level 7 and an outlaw drone level 10. The reason why the color 10 is happening is because he's a bit higher level than me. I'm only a level six, as you can see in the upper right corner of the screen. So, but still they're just drones, so they shouldn't be too bad. Now, if he was with a bunch of buddies, that could have been, that could have been problematic. But he wasn't. Is anything in these asteroids? We might look around a little bit. You never know what you might find. I don't see any secrets. Secret, secret! I'm not seeing anything. That's okay. All right, so we're gonna head over to this minefield, clear this out, and it should complete the job and increase our reputation standing with the GMB accordingly. Beautiful, we're gonna use the pulse laser again. I love that sound. All right, phew! Minesweeper, claim rewards, it says, all right? So from this point, we go back to our uh, missions and uh, we claim the rewards, which are all four of these things. Again, there's no sound, anything, so we're gonna claim it like that and Voila, now those items have entered into our inventory. See, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, just like that. Now in addition to that, we're gonna go over to this new tab. Oh my gosh, the first time seeing this tab. Are you ready? This is the completion tab, okay? This shows our reputation and the benefits thereof for each of the different factions that we are encountering. For now, there are only three different factions, okay? We have GMB Mining, GMB Trading, and GMB Defense. Woo! But we also have these other little buttons that I am not allowed to click. Just kidding! Let's show you what they are. Challenges, which haven't been completely implemented yet. But also, here are the statistics of your ship. This is probably going to get tidied up a little bit more, but Andy did some really good work bringing this together of all the stats that are going to be cataloged as you're playing. So all of this stuff on your completion tab is going to kind of help you out, understand what you're doing, where you're going, all that type of stuff. And also, like, your your advanced mechanics, which you can kind of see there. Uh, some, of, some of these are probably going to mean absolutely nothing to you. And most of it's hot garbage right now because it's a, you know, it's a dev build. So it doesn't, it doesn't like it says I've completed 3,250 jobs. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's actually credits earned. It's working as intended, dang it. All right, so let's go back here. As you can see, these little pips, right? Each one of these pips increases your standing with that unique faction. We have gone up to Proven from freelancer so our standing is now 300 and that will continue to continue to accrue and the further we get it will provide specific benefits for example at the freelancer rank basically rank zero you can have access to jobs if you tick off g and b guess what that means you go underneath the freelancer rank and you don't have access to basic jobs now in order to there will be means to like reaccrue that relationship um but as it stands like you don't want to you don't want to take off the people that you're helping otherwise your reputation goes down all right so because we completed this particular tier and we leveled up to proven our corrosion effects i cause now deal all their damage in half the time oh my gosh that's pretty sick. Just for doing jobs for GMB Mining gives me this passive benefit where all of our corrosion effects now are just 
really laying down the pain, all right? Uh, for those of you veterans out there of Everspace One, you'll know that a corrosion missile takes 16 seconds to deal all of its damage out to your opponent. If we're using that same system here, that means it's only gonna take eight because math, divide two, boom. You're welcome, all right. So some pretty fantastic, wonderful benefits there for completing jobs that give you straight up benefits for maintaining those relationships. The complexities that will that are gonna befall you through this is that all of these different factions aren't necessarily gonna be peachy keen with one another, as I'm sure you know. For a demonstration here, obviously we only have G and B there. So you know that they're all pretty tight, close together with one another, unless maybe, you know, the traders are a little corrupt and the defense is really trying to do something righteous, but there are gonna be other factions that are going to provide jobs that will hurt your reputation with other factions. So you have to be very careful and pick and choose the jobs that you really wanna execute versus the ones that you really don't, okay? That's really the reputation system and the job system as like a very general level. Now, it can get a little bit more complicated than that, so we are gonna show you uh, just a little bit more with what we can do uh, with the jobs, we are gonna head right on back to where we came from. And we're gonna manually travel there too. So you kinda get to see what it looks like for now in the current build uh, to go back to, oh, actually let's go complete this other job too. I forgot I had this. What it looks like to go down to planet side. I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you. So just stick around. We'll go back to our previous location at Nefty's Plains to see that too. Mm. So, um, I know there's so many people that are like, they're already like thinking in the back of their mind. So jobs are like super really basic, go to an area and do a thing sort of things. Yeah, kind of, that's kind of what they are. We are gonna have a fresh variety of what you can see uh, and what you can do by using the job boards. I actually have to be kind of careful which jobs I choose because some of them could send me to environments that you're not supposed to see yet. Um, but they they can also kind of go sideways as well. Like say that you're in the middle of a job and another faction encounters you and they also have a, a, an ulterior motive or they have a similar idea with the job. Like instead of destroying the mines, maybe they want more mines laid out. Say they're trying to defend an area. Um, various things like that can actually happen uh, during the course of a job that might make you break the job chain. Maybe it makes you think you gotta do something else or kind of twist your mind on what you need to do accordingly. Possibilities are quite endless when it comes to jobs, when it comes to spacefaring uh, jobs. Kind of being redundant with the word job there, but I'm putting a lot of emphasis on it too. So, <laughs> so it really, it, st it strikes home, hopefully. All right, so this other one, this was also a minefield job. Pretty standard stuff. You've seen this all accordingly. I wonder if we can see anything new. Is there anything that I'm not supposed to show you that's happening here? <laughs> oh, looks like we got a fight. Oh, shocks. Level ones. This will be easy. Here, let's just, uh, let's have you disabled and explode really quick. And, you know, we've been disabling a lot of mines. Let's go ahead and give this guy a mine of his own. Oh, he shot it down? How dare you. There we go. That's much better. We'll just pick up this AI controller as well. Because we can. And then we'll head over to this minefield and clear it out as well. Oh, we're getting close to freelancer ships. We're not supposed to show those. Mm. <laughs> They're floating around in the air. Hey, go away. Don't get me in trouble, all right? It's crazy. Seriously, though, go. <laughs> go, shoot. <laughs> that guy's really bending the rules here. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's gonna like pause the screen and then like they're gonna zoom in like, oh my gosh, trying to get a good look at the ship. Let's go ahead and claim these rewards. 
Cool. Boom. Done. Nice please results. And we're gonna head on back to Nefty's Plains. <laughs> Woo! I'm pretty sure it's over on this side. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. Let's actually lock this in place so it's easily seen. Perfect. Yeah, there you are. And if you're wondering what that purple blob on the screen is that says missing, um, obviously the game is completed 100%. Uh, we're actually just withholding it from you. It's all a facade. Um, yeah. It's There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and fly down to the planet. And I'll even I'll even give you a little too much information, all right? Because here you can see there's some other areas nearby that we're flying by that you haven't seen yet. Now this over here, this is the scrapyard down here. That's actually the scrapyard. You can see there's some other sites going on. But we want to go to Nefty's Plains. So a lot of people want to see some type of seamless transition from space to the planet. And um, sometimes it takes a long time to load in this build. Sometimes it doesn't. Of course it takes freaking forever for me right now. But we're gonna go down right here to this station and look at more jobs. So you can kind of get a little bit of a, a sense of what this planet kind of looks like. But again, we're not taking the tour on this planet just yet. Not yet. We want to see what other jobs we can get. Yes, we got... No, we didn't. I was looking for lost cargo. Yes, here we go. I wanted a lost cargo job. But you can see we've got a lot more jobs that populated. Holy cow. This is actually probably way too many. But it's fine. <laughs> and we can take on a number of these. Um, in fact, I don't think there's necessarily a limit to the number of jobs there probably will be in the future so it's not like you can see all of these and it's like take 30 jobs all at once that's that wouldn't be that wouldn't feel right but you will be able to select a, a certain number of jobs to be able to have them on your ship letting you know when you can go what you can do all that, all that type of stuff so we're gonna go ahead and take on some more for let's see yeah, we, we were, our standing's kind of going up a little bit with GMB defense. So let's avoid the minesweeper for now. Let's do some search and destroy. Here we go, GMB defense, perfect. We'll accept this job. Uh, then we'll do trading with shipping at the ulcer. I think we can get away with that. The ulcer is technically a location that you've seen, but you haven't seen much of. So it really depends <laughs> really depends on where this is taking me to go. <laughs> if I can take on this mission or not. But as you can see, like, there's a time limit on this particular mission. So we have to put something on our ship, and then we have to take it there within a time limit to be rewarded this particular job. Um, I kind of want to do this one, this lost cargo. So we're going to go ahead and take that one. I'm just kind of taking a couple here. Um, let's go ahead and take this one that goes to the ulcer. Hopefully it's not going to show you too much. <laughs> but hey, you know what? You got to take a couple risks on a live stream. Uh, otherwise, you're not having fun. And uh, we're going to see... Let's see what else we can do. We'll try to avoid the Minesweeper. Let's see. What did we take on? I can't remember. Lost Cargo. Delivery. Uh, search and Destroy. Let's take a Shipping. Let's see, shipping with trading I think is going to be the only option, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and do this one, because this looks this looks interesting to me, this diluted Osnal. Osnal? I don't know how to pronounce things. Get off my back. Alright, GMB trading, taking it. So now you can see we've got a, a, a pretty decent selection of jobs that we're going to be doing. we got a search and destroy. It's going to populate all of these here. A new job for Lost Cargo. 
I like the redundancy of it. Lost cargo that was lost somewhere. So you know that it was definitely lost. Delivery of stuff that urgently needs to be delivered. Shipping. Perfect. So we have one job that is being tracked currently. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go down the line. So first we have to pick up the container. And then we're going to take it... I think this is... Is this the one to the ulcer? I can't remember. No, this is the search and destroy. Okay, so we're going to this location and we will be destroying targets. This is a pretty standard job, but we're still going to show it anyway. Alright, I'm kind of like finally poking around the chat for the first time. <laughs> Uh, you can see that we're really working hard on this game. Thanks, Crisis2080. Thank you so much. We've definitely been hard at work. So we're uh, making sure that everything's coming together. Um, and like I said, you are going to see the the build number on the upper left. So you know I'm not lying. Every, every single freaking day, really, we have a new build that we're working on, that we're testing, that we're bringing to fruition. Uh, and, you know, sometimes stuff goes completely wrong. Um, in fact... Whenever I was doing a little bit of testing to make sure I could show you guys the stuff on the stream, I was having crashes all the time. <laughs> but I've kind of narrowed it down so I know what to choose and what to avoid so that you guys aren't seeing a constant stream of, of crashing because I don't, I don't think you would enjoy that. So I got you covered. And here we are just searching and destroying all of these basic outlaw enemies. I was secretly hoping there was a new enemy to show you here, but it's not here yet. We'll see if we can make him spawn, though. Now, uh, a smart person would tell you to go after the Weber first. <laughs> I'm just being a little stubborn. Mm, those beautiful explosions, though. Madcap pod. Okay, let's just... Oh! Gosh, I love that sound! Mm. Excellent. So let's go ahead and claim the rewards here. Some new stuffs. Uh, claim rewards. And then we are going to go ahead and track this lost cargo that was lost somewhere. Uh, for the completion of that one, let's see, we're, we're getting close to access basic job, or to proven, which doesn't list anything yet. Work in progress. But don't you worry, there's going to be magical things that happen everywhere. Also, I want to make sure that I have enough s space for all the things. Let's go ahead and, like, get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, carbon powder. What's that? Ooh, ooh, hmm. I wonder if that's used for something later. <laughs> all right, we're going to go ahead and destroy some of these things because we don't need them at all. Oh, a thermo gun? Oh, dismantle? That's a nice word. Okay. Oh, we didn't get anything for that. That's fine. Let's see. Oh, we can we can put these together. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All right. We'll we'll hang on to all this type of stuff. We kind of generalized and just put a bunch of level six stuff on our ship. That was all rare. Nothing too fancy to showcase here, but um, for those who have never seen the streams before ever, know that our itemization is akin to that of like a Diablo or a Destiny style of gameplay. So there are modifiers that are applied to your ship, uh, to your equipment rather based on the rarity of that item that you get. So we are flying the, the pink puppy today. It's all of the superior uh, level equipment, which has three modifiers that you can see down at the bottom. For each one of these, they get a special bonus. Um, these bonuses are random. Some are particular uh, on specific devices, or excuse me, modules. Proper terminology is important here. Those are devices, these are modules. Um, and each one of these provides you some benefit and adjustment to your ship. So we're flying a Sentinel right now. And our precision and our resistance are pretty solid for this guy. Um, so, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. These items can also overheat or get damaged based on what happens. Oh, hey, we leveled up too. That's, that feels good. Oh, upgrade token. Hey, let's talk about that. So an upgrade token. This is what we actually would use to um, to get our devices. 
So yes, you caught me. I'm a dirty, rotten cheater. I've been using all of these devices far earlier than I'm supposed to be able to do. Sue me! I wanted to show you, alright? Perfect. But those upgrade tokens will allow you to unlock new devices as well as the modes that they have on them. What this means is that when you apply your upgrade tokens to a mode, it's permanently unlocked forever. It's not like you have to find another device and put it onto your ship and then unlock that mode again. No, 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 no. It is permanently bound to your progression, okay? So once you unlock the compressor mo mode for energized boost, you have it forever. But you wouldn't have access to high pressure or great escape. But as soon as you get the upgrade tokens accordingly, then you can also buy those other modes and you can change them as you will, when you want, how you want. There's probably going to be a lot of exploitation in being able to adjust your modes on the fly anywhere. It's probably going to be bound to going to a station to change your modes in the future. Just giving you that heads up. Obviously, I have a play around build where I can do magical things, which is why I can adjust that like I can. But otherwise, yes. So, yeah. There you go. So let's head over here to this site. Hopefully it's nowhere crazy. Oh wow, it's it's a long it's a long drive. Buckle in everybody. <laughs> Will there be a save the kitty mission? Baldwin, who knows? We could have all sorts of saving things. I know that the well, what I can say is that the team has definitely enjoyed uh ramen. <laughs> All right, let's go to this unknown signal. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe we've got something to do. Maybe it's just a hunt for items. It looks like it's just a mining operation, maybe? There's some There's some stuff to take. Copper deposit, don't mind if I do. And another, an iron deposit, okay. What's that? What is that? Can I show that? Okay, yes. <laughs> it's possible that some ships that I'm not supposed to show could potentially spawn, I think. I'm not 100% sure. So if you see me just like freak out and just the screen suddenly changes for a second, you know, just screenshot the heck out of it and uh, you know, all that type of stuff. Oh, come on, we want you to explode. There we go. All right. For those of you who have never seen our device that allows you to throw enemies, we just use the magnetic repulsor and just toss them into an asteroid nearby. There's probably more in this area. I want to complete these jobs, so that's what our focus is going to be on. Also, yeah, uh, Hazy, thanks for answering questions while I've been showing a lot of stuff going on. Really appreciate it. I know that there are a number of people out there who are answering very positively in response to new members of the community, in which case, welcome to all of you. Uh, I know Shu's been uh, directing people to information as well. And of course, the big bad boss himself, Michael, has been uh, responding to you using the Rockfish Games channel itself. Good, good stuff. Lost career, that was lost somewhere. Hilarious. I know, right? Don't worry, we're going to get the specifics going on. Or we won't. We'll just keep it as it is. Maybe we'll have the obligatory escort mission, and it will literally be called obligatory escort mission. All right, so we have to search this area to find all five of these lost containers. Sometimes things can happen when you're searching for stuff. I think this is one of the containers. No? We magically got more iron out of that, don't you worry. Maybe somebody from the team Hans Christian, Andy, did you saw that? There's a bug. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? This looks like a new asset we haven't seen before. We've got this thing that looks like uh, maybe a satellite. What's going on here? Ooh, ooh, sealed container. We'll pick that bad boy up. Several of them.
It's a good thing there aren't any enemies nearby. Anything too wild in this particular region. Because things can go sideways pretty quickly. Oh. Here, we'll just dump the iron. That's fine. Uh-oh. Wait, did we break it? Yeah, I think we broke it. How do I drop? <laughs> oh my gosh. We broke it. We're actually holding all five. Dev build. Okay? Just... just uh, we're pausing for a second. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> it is our delight to show you this exclusive content while we are building these materials, right? It is insane how we live in a day and an age where developers can show you quite literally exactly where they're at. This is a build that we produced this morning, yesterday night. Like that is, we, you are literally seeing the most recent stuff that we are applying into the game. You're gonna see bugs. You're gonna see annoying, silly bugs like what we just encountered there. And you know what, that's, it's fine. It's fine, I'm a little mad. <laughs> But it's okay. <laughs> we'll go ahead and just change to a different job. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to deliver some stuff that urgently needs to be delivered. Oh my goodness. But first we're going to find a station to sell this stuff to. So we're going to head over to the Ulcer, actually. Which is perfect, because I think that's where we need to go next. Oh my goodness. Oh, Crisis asks a really good question. Um, I actually see a couple good questions, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take the time to pause here, and we're gonna answer a couple questions because I know you've been barraging us. Thank you for that, by the way. This this the title of the stream does have AMA in there. Ask me anything. So thank you for bringing your questions and your curiosities. Let's answer a couple of these right now. Um. Okay, we'll, we'll get a nice little ominous sort of th scene for you here, maybe. That looks, th this doesn't look dark at all. All right, perfect. <clears throat> when you have the experience needed to level up, will you just simply level up or do you have a specific requirement to level up? So the specific requirement is basically X XP numbers, XP experience, right? You have to reach a certain experience point, but your experience, whenever you reach those levels, it's not just a gener general, oh, you gain these stats here and that little perk there and like adjust the, the statistics behind the scenes. It's not going to just be that, okay? There are also benefits to leveling up and how you can adjust your perks. We have talked about the perks and I accidentally showed the screen once on stream, even though it wasn't too revealing. So sorry about that. But anyway, the perks will allow you to define your pilot even further beyond your ship selection and your items that you have been given based on RNG. So it's just a new way to customize and optimize in the direction of your choosing. Uh, when will the next game build be available for us to play? Um, so that's going to be the alpha. And I will say that Michael has been commenting within our social circles. Uh, in our public social circles about the beginning of June. So hold the phone. That's like a couple of weeks. Woo boy. That's exciting. So we'll, uh, we'll have to see what happens in a couple of weeks. Perfect. Let's see. We have, how will the scanner mechanic work? Are we able to equip different scanners with different range scanning properties? Yes. In fact, um, the different scanners that you, uh, your sensors rather, they have different ranges and loot ranges and resource ranges on them. And you can also, um, th like, this is just going to be like your basic sort of boost to go out and see stuff, right? But there will be more to it than just that. There, absolutely. It's not going to just be, um, just some figures behind the scenes. Um, we also, I can't really say too much beyond that. Um... Just know that, yes, we want to make exploration very meaningful. That is, that's the big thing at the end of the day, right? If you don't feel like you're getting a lot of value out of taking care of these handcrafted levels that we're building, then that's, that's a problem. So yeah, we want to make you activate yourself, uh, 
to scan things using your sensors. Maybe there's going to be some other items and devices that allow you to seek out and find the goods that you're looking for. Um, so that if you go in that direction, you're rewarded for it. Or instead of using those tools, you can just go like combat heavy, of course, so that you're just blowing everything out of the water. Or, you know, if you want a mixture of in-betweens or you want more utility or you want some more mobility, like you have all of these different options and which directions to go so um the scanning mechanic as far as this sensor option is concerned it's just a very generic your range but there could be more scanning abilities to work from that point <laughs> <laughs> Woo, draw, I, i'm walking a line okay <laughs> more information in the future um, is that each station will give you a different price? Um, different stations will offer different prices, for sure, for, like, different goods. Um, I don't think it's been implemented yet, but as an example, like, one station that's, like, way out in the boonies of a star, right? They don't have any, I don't know, um, they don't have any heat. So you have to provide them with a heat source of... <laughs> You get what I'm saying, right? You go to the station that's near the freaking star, okay? You take plasma. I don't know, whatever. You take the heat source item, and it's really, really cheap from them because they're freaking next to a star. They got plenty of it, right? But they need water real bad. They don't ever have water. So you take your freaking plasma or whatever your fire source is. I don't care. Whatever you want to call it. You, tow you go all the way out to the exterior of this solar system to this poor little planet that needs fire, and you sell it to them for a major profit because they're like, thanks for saving our lives and you're like that's fine all i care about is the money then you buy all the water specifically the ice they have off way out in the distance of this planet and then you send it on over to that planet that's right next to the freaking star and you make a pr freaking profit from there that's right exploitation of your services based on people's survivability Oh my gosh, that sounds brutal, but you get the picture. Every station is going to have unique trading opportunities, and there will also be unique trade lanes that you can focus down on uh, based on your factions. Um, so like if you have a really good standing with say like um, GMB trading, that makes sense, then you're going to have a lot more benefits uh, and maybe even a higher amount of money that you get simply through trading through them because of your standing. Whoo, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson asks, how's it going, Eric? Oh, man, I'm doing great. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm actually going to turn my fan on. It's, like, warm in here. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Much better. But, obviously, you, you get the picture, right? Like, different stations, new opportunities, specifically within trading. Also, different types of jobs at different stations as well. So, you're going to see you're gonna see all that stuff. <laughs> yeah heat it took me so long to think of like a, a heat source let's think of a basic heat source right now hmm fire why didn't i think of that five seconds earlier i don't know my brain sometimes malfunctions okay it's like stuck in that processing moment just it's thank you for dealing with me as we showcase all these new things all right so we're here at the ulcer we need to deliver a diagnostic system to gmb crystal refinery so, hopefully, wait, we need 10 of them. Did I, did I trigger this job incorrectly? Hang on a second. What am I doing? We are, yeah, we're struggling with our diagnostic delivery system, GMB Crystal Refiner. Would you be able to help us out and get hold? Oh, we have to go. No, we are in the ulcer. Do we even get the items? I don't think we, do we have the items? The diagnostic... I think I, I think I did the job improperly. Let's see what happens. Nope, we definitely don't have the diagnostic system. Whoops, maybe I was supposed to buy it from the station or something? But we did get a new job that says back to work. Dang it. I'm not supposed to show you that. Hang on a second. We have to do a little bit of a, a sneaky sneak, okay? It's just going to be a moment, I promise. Just a moment. We just have to adjust this. Sometimes things happen that need to be adjusted. I'm sure you all understand. Shouldn't take long at all.
Okay, so I actually I have a benefit to going backwards because now it looks like we're gonna be able to do this mission where we search the area, except we can actually grab all five of them. So, perfectly intended situation. It wasn't actually a bug at all. It's a feature. You're welcome. Okay. Let's grab these things. Uh, also, we're gonna dump some things so we have enough room. No, we got we got five slots exactly. Okay. So I'm gonna grab all these things, we're gonna complete this job. Perfect. Just as as all things should be. Okay. Oops, oops. Oh my gosh, I swear I can drive, okay? I have- I have skills! Don't judge me. Alright, let's, um... Let's grab the rest of these containers. <laughs> Here we are. Perfect! All five of them! Lost cargo that was lost somewhere is no longer lost somewhere. Bring the container to Nefty's Plains Station at Nefty's Plains. Makes sense. I'll have six fires, please. <laughs> oh, gosh. oh. Will there be different subclasses for the light fighters? There will be different subclasses for all of the fighters. What you see here is the subclass of the medium fighter known as the um, Sentinel. So the other subclasses of the medium ships we have the, um, actually hang on a second, I wanna make sure I'm going to the right spot. We also have the um, Striker, which was previously known as the Assault Fighter. And then we also have the Interceptor. Let's fly down to Nefty's Plains. Whoop. Fast load time, seamless. Perfectly seamless. As you can see, it's flawless. That took like what? I think a millisecond to load. That was crazy, right? Impressive. Absolutely impressed. Did it just lock up? What's going on here? <laughs> of course this would happen on stream. Oh my gosh. I think it did actually lock up. <clears throat> We'll just enjoy the music for a moment. Oh yeah, that's that's good music. All right, yeah, no worries. Every, everybody, everything is well under control. Okay, you might you might all be like jarred a little bit. You might be thinking, oh that that double music though, whoo, that was kind of intense. But um, no, everything is fine. Everything is great. Everything is working perfectly as intended. We've never had a problem on these streams, actually. Not once. I'm really impressed uh, with with the builds that we have. Like, we, like, the team has never made a single mistake ever. There's no such thing as spaghetti code, all right? It, these are all, these are all illusions. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, it's just as simple as that. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what problems that you're talking about. I've never, again, I've never seen a problem. Uh, not once. Let's see if the game's gonna load first. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, one second. It, uh, it loaded the wrong load. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> Oh, man. I am really glad that you guys come to these streams and, and like experience just the raw development of where we're at and the things that we like have to deal with ourselves. No, you have to deal with them too. Take that. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, we'll get we'll get things uh right back to normal here, right as rain, in just a moment or two. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're heading back to Nefty's Plains. Hopefully everything's gonna work exactly as it's meant to. Also, sound. Sound. Much better. All right. <clears throat> we save scumming today? Um, think of it more as uh, aggressively adjusting the game systems, all right? All right, let's try this again. Let's let's 
autopilot, fly down, please, to Nefty's planes, seamlessly. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Okay. Wait, don't worry. I've got a fix. I've got a solution to this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Some days are better than others, okay? Today is just one of those days. It's fine. The validity of builds. Let me tell you what. Some days are off the charts and other days are just... Woo! And it's okay, you know? These are the muddy waters that you all stepped in when you joined the stream, whether you like it or not, okay? Oh my gosh. So let's try this again. Um, let's go, let's go here. And we'll just do a different job to complete some more jobs. I'm not even worried about this job. I don't, I don't like it. It has offended me. You can, in fact, it has offended me so much. Check this out. You can go here. And this lost cover that was lost somewhere, guess what? We can abandon it. It's right behind my head. It was the secret abandonment. We're just gonna... Gone. Totally taken care of. So now we have this delivery of stuff that urgently needs to be delivered, which we forgot to, to grab. So we're just gonna abandon that one too. But we have this shipping one. This is the one we want to do. This is the best one forever. We have to d deliver a sealed container to Cedo Outskirts. There is a time limit of 3 minutes and 53 seconds. So first, we have to pick up the container from Nefty's Plains. <laughs> For those of you who aren't in the know, Nefty's Plains is the location that keeps crashing on us. Who wants to see some combat? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna set up a, I'm gonna set up a scene for you all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness gravy. So um, let's go ahead and make this area a little bit more interesting. Uh, we'll show you some some general combat. We'll use some different weapons as well. Um, in fact, I kind of want I kind of want to pull you guys. I know that there are a lot of people who have like preferred weapons. Obviously we have new sounds to some of them, not all of them. But uh, I want to go through these, and I want to get kind of like your feel for what type of weapon you want to hear, what you want to see, okay? Uh, so let's go through them. We've got a flat cannon. We got an, uh, the coil gun. We've got a rail gun. We've got the thermo gun. We've got the scatter gun. We've got the blaster. And we have the beam laser. We've obviously already shown the pulse laser and autocannon, so I tossed all of those out there. I want you all to just frantically be like, wait, what? Can you go through the list again and plug in all of your responses? And then I'll just pick two that I see, and we will show that. I do see a lot of rail guns already over on Twitch chat. So um, that one's probably going to win. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to do that right now. But anything else you guys want to see? Want to see some thermo gun? I see another thermo, thermodynamics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we'll do, we'll do the rail and the thermo. Nefty's planes is the origin point of the universe. It kind of is for all intents and purposes of this demo. So this is a thermo gun. You can see it's very scattered. But that's because when you have a locked on target, it does some really beautiful things. And we have the rail gun. Which has a nice crisp ooh whenever you fire it. So uh yeah, so let me let me go ahead and get some enemies in here. And let's talk about this weight page for a second. First off, uh isn't this a lovely new weight page that is just like boosting, cruising through the universe? We're actually pretty happy with it. Um, and we're probably gonna have some more uh, interesting and diverse wait pages for you so that you can see a little bit of what we're working on, maybe have some combat sequences, some planet side, all that type of stuff, so that you can get a taste of what we've been working on even before the stream goes live. How neat is that? How neat is that? But more importantly, those links below, you're gonna see some of them rotate, but you see Discord there, you, have, you see Twitter, you see Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, um, is that all of them? Mixer is under there too. All of the all of the different locations where you can watch us and uh, see what we're up to. 
obviously choose your preferred platform we're we're making sure that everybody is getting seen and getting heard it's important to us so that is the way we do so give me one second as i'm setting some things up here uh, but I do encourage you to take a, a little bit of a momentary break. We're about halfway through the stream anyway. If you're not in the Discord, oh man, let me tell you what. We have a lot of fun in that Discord. In fact, we're going to be showing off and highlighting some people's um, fan art that they've been posting um, in the Discord itself. We like to showcase the stuff that you do because it's just awesome. It's really cool. So definitely, definitely be a part of our communities. Stay in the know and harass us a little bit so we can harass you back. It's good. All right. Let me make some stuff. No, I'm probably making a little bit too much stuff. We might get a little bit of lag, but you know, it's cool to see. So that's the way we're gonna do it. And we're gonna use the thermo gun and the, um, what else did we say, the rail gun in order to accomplish our task here. So this should be, this should be decently fun. Okay, I think, I think the, everything has been set. I think we're ready to show. Here we go. Almost, almost here we go. I'm gonna answer a couple more questions first. I see Jeff Chris asked a long time ago. I'm so sorry. He says, uh, what about the ability to fly capital ships? Um, we've seen this question a little bit. And the, the short answer is that the game isn't designed to fly capital ships. It's all a matter of dog fighting, some small one man fighters for nimble gameplay. We're going to have a lot of interior core uh, corridors and spaces that you'll navigate, which capital ship play would have nothing to do with. Um, so we are looking into a couple ideas pertaining to capital ships. Um, and if the player would be able to like have some type of interactions with them of a level of control. But for the most part, the like 99% of the game is played one man fighters. So, but we have seen some really particular, like particularly fun ideas, like maybe have a mission where you control a capital ship and you have to like defend a base or something like that. Um, that could be interesting, but at the same time, we don't want to have like a specific mission separate you out from the normal gameplay experience so much that you're like almost playing a different game. It's, it's complicated, but the short answer is more than likely no. Like it's a focus on one man fighters. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I definitely love the ideas that you guys have been generating from the community though. Let's see what else I've missed in the chat and asking questions. Oh, I think that was actually, was that it? Is that the only one I missed for the moment? I see a question pertaining to the Switch. I see Hazy Devil did respond to it, but let's answer it for the general audience as well though. Um, the Switch, long story short, could we develop a game for the Nintendo Switch? Yes, we could make Everspace 2 work on the Nintendo Switch, and it would take a lot longer than the development time we currently have set up for a lot of different reasons. We could make it happen, but it would be, it's, it's absurd how much longer it would take to fit our content on down to the, um, to the ability to make it work successfully, okay? We are a smaller team with a very specific focus a very specific vision of what we want to do, and all of that is going to be perfectly executed in the environments for play, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. That is where we are going to exist, and that is where we are going to flourish the most. So no, we are not developing for the Nintendo Switch. It's just, it would cost us too much in regards to time and resources, and it's, we just can't, we can't pull that off. But it's a great question. 
you know, maybe down in the future of like forever, I also just realized you guys could hear slack. <laughs> Whoops. Anyway, don't worry about that. <clears throat> Thanks, Hans Christian, for your subtle appearance in the streams. Um, but yeah, so our focus is very much in line with PC uh, and PlayStation 4 and Xbox. Whew, okay. So let's let's destroy some stuff. We got this outlaw destroyer who needs to be destroyed. Let's use this railgun, which we can actually hit from this distance. Oh gosh, there's a sniper drone? Who'd have thought there was a sniper drone there? It's like somebody spawned these in and should know should know what's <laughs> what's there. Oh, here we are. Let's snipe the sniper drone. We missed! Oh gosh, this is gonna hurt. Ouch! Shield damaged. He's beefy! Okay, we gotta... We gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh, we are taking a lot of damage. Woo! Actually, we might we might just straight up die right here. Come on, get him! Okay, good, he's down. Woo! Okay, things are getting frisky. All right. The beautiful thing about the thermo gun is that it heat seeks your target, so even if you're flying around randomly, it should help you out. Get wrecked. Okay. Got him. Okay, perfect. Got a couple more guys to deal with. I wish we had an asteroid nearby. Here, let's get... Oh my gosh, that's not gonna work. Oh gosh. Energize boost away. Okay. Let's get a turret to help us out. We're just gonna hunker down here for a second and use our sniping. These guys are beefy hard. Oh man, our turret's getting annihilated. Oh gosh, what have I done? <laughs> Here, let's make a minefield. <laughs> oh gosh, wait, I think I have an advantage here. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's enough. Oh gosh, ouch, that pain. That was painful. Whoo! Done were a bunch of beefcakes. That was fun though. So you can see how we're trying to use a combination of our devices and our consumables and our different weapons to create a pretty interesting environment. I intentionally made those guys harder than me. I was only level six, I think. All of them were level tens. But we, we had to have some strong action there, right? So we're gonna we're gonna pop right back into this. Do it again. Uh, maybe with uh, some different weapons, probably. Let's see what happens. I'm I'm scared to click on last checkpoint. We're gonna go back to the main menu and load. <laughs> Let's see. What time is it? None of these times are correct. I have to go. I have to go back here. So we're gonna go back to the, the same location that's still asking us to search the area. <laughs> oh man, I think we've seen this one way more than we want to. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this again. Abandon, uh, abandon, and we can't go to Nefty's Plains, so we have to clear that one as well. Oh my gosh. I think we can take on a couple more missions though. Let me let me see if I can use some uh, some <clears throat> some magical things to to acquire some jobs. So one second.
All right, I think, I think I fixed it. All right, we're gonna try, we're gonna try something and hopefully everything's working perfectly because we have the ability. Okay, perfect, it's generated. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we uh, head over to pick up this container, which we then have to ship. Woo! Yeah, I see the I see the question over there that says, um, "What are the PC specs?" So that is a bit early to tell, just because we're still. I mean, there's there's still over a year's worth development for the game. A year. A lot can happen between now and then in the in the realm of technology and development. So, it's really hard to say. I think recently on, on uh, Discord, uh, somebody had asked that same question. And they were like, well, well uh, like, what's the, what's the ballpark of running at, um, oh man, Hazy, do you remember what it was? Was it 100 frames per second? Oh, um, oh my gosh, that was the message that Hunt Christian said. Yeah, let me, hang on everybody, I'm going to try and do a thing. Hang on a second. I'm gonna try and do a thing, one moment, and we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, one second. You all are being beautifully patient. I really appreciate that. Um, do remember that there are tons of links on the screen right now if you want to see all of our development live and be in the know about all the things that we're doing, what we're up to. Uh, I am trying to rectify a little crash. Maybe we can get back to Nefty's Planes to show you a couple more jobs in the way that it's meant to be shown. Uh, so thank you for your patience. We will be back in just a moment. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I really do appreciate your patience. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much for having me uh, uh, take the time to go through and try and accomplish some stuff for you. So we're gonna continue this job right now. And um, 
Hopefully next time when we're doing more showcasing of the jobs, we'll be able to go down to Nefty's Plains, do all that accordingly. We did kind of get a workaround for you, so everything still should occur as it is meant to be occurred. <laughs> Accessor, 150 frames per second at 1080p. That's right. That's what the conversation was in Discord. So basically to, to summarize the discussion on Discord, we think that in order to perform at that kind of standard for Everspace 2, it's probably gonna be somewhere on the lines of like a 1080. That is kind of what, uh, that's kind of what you're gonna be aiming for probably, but it could go, it, again, it's really early to say what your your average uh, graphic settings and, and whatnot are gonna need to be at release because a lot can happen in a year. So yeah, we'll, we'll come out with all that information and let you know like what's gonna be the best, what's gonna be optimal, what's gonna be viable. All that type of stuff. Uh, we just need some time. Ooh, oh my gosh. This is actually this is actually kind of a little treat for you guys. You probably can recognize what this wreckage is. For those of you who are not familiar, this is gonna look like any other trash out there, any other debris. But these are actual this is actually from a specific freelance ship. This is a drone cargo carrier. In fact, these drones right here are parts of a drone cargo carrier drop-off. Uh, a long time ago, we actually showed an animated GIF of one of these crashed on a planet. Okay, we showed it crashed on a planet. And now we see one that, that's all bound up in this wreckage, maybe it got into some sort of battle, who knows. But we need to get these goods. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, look at this, we got how do we how do we get in here? Let's see. Energy socket. Okay, so we need to activate these energy sockets. Perfect. So we're going to create one of these bad boys. Look at that. We got this energy orb. Whoop. Which I lost. Oh, that was so close. Just a nice little timing mini game. Just a one little example. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the one. Nailed it. So now that this is all nice and opened up, we can pick up. Guys, check out my engine. All right. Look at that. Look, look at this engine. All right. Just. All right, we got all five of the containers. Perfect. Glorious. Now these these energy orb dispensers, maybe you've actually seen something like this in the prototype where there are locations that need like a, an energy core. This is something that very much could be used in those situations as well. There's a lot more coming in that regard. A lot more coming. And maybe you could also like generate an energy orb and then like, I don't know, shoot it at an opponent, right? And um, aggress them using pure energy depending on your situation and uh, what you're trying to accomplish. So, all right, we got the we got the goods. Where do we need to take it? We need to go to the trading outpost at Union Bridge. I'm fairly certain we won't crash if we go there. So that's, that is the destination that we are going. And thankfully, because we're tracking that job, everything is marked accordingly on our map. We don't even have to go here and do this, even though it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty slick. I like doing that myself. Just like, you know, zipping that on. I'm just double clicking. It's nice. So you can track track sites really easily using this tool. Oh my God. I hope you guys are having a fun time for the stream. I'm having a blast being able to show you all of this new content that we were like, we just, we're just poking in here a little bit every week. <coughs> it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm hoping you are. If you guys are ever not enjoying the content and you want something else, if you want something more, if you want something a little bit different, let us know. Maybe we can work that in. I don't know. 
But I do want you all to stick around, though, because I, st I really want to show you guys the fan art that maybe you, in fact, made for us. Some really cool things to show. Hey, don't worry, Noma DZ2K. We are definitely making our own game. Obviously, we've been inspired by a lot of others, uh, much like the game that you mentioned there. Um, there are components of it where it's like, we think we're done really well, and we want to do our own thing, like I said, and maximize the potential by honoring um, components that we've seen elsewhere. We really like our visual style. We really like the story that we're telling. Uh, even though you guys don't know too much about that yet. Um, we, we really like the locations that are coming together that are all handcrafted and unique. It's feeling really good. It's feeling rich. And that's what we're shooting for at the end of the day, is a meaningful environment, a meaningful game, where you can, in a way, make it your own. I mean, you have a lot of customization here, right? I mean, from your ship, to your pilot, to your equipment, to your devices to the jobs that you're taking on, to where you're specifically going that's out in this game world. Like, that's all very much in your control. And we're really happy with those results, even at this point in the game. Like, we, st we still have an, a another year to go. And we're really liking where things are already starting to click and come together. And we know that it's gonna be even better through your feedback, through your insight. Um, and so we are, we are really excited. We're really excited for everything that's to come. Don't worry, we're not making a clone of a game. This is this is ours. <laughs> this is ours, and we're, and we're gonna make it as awesome as we humanly can. All right, let's go ahead and sell some of this junk. Hopefully I'm not selling something that I'm supposed to take somewhere else. <laughs> That'd be embarrassing. <clears throat> Probably should have checked this first. Okay, so ret retrieve some cargo that has been lost. Wait, did we, com did we complete this one? Oh, yes, we completed it. Okay, so we claim the rewards. Perfect. So there is a little bit of a bug that you can see there. Whenever we finish a job, because when you're at a station, it's kind of like paused, you actually have to leave the station and come back to it. And look, now all the items from the job are there. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. That's Obviously, that will be fixed. But we're going to go ahead and sell this stuff too. And making a pretty good profit, like, holy cow, we're selling a lot of things for a lot of monies. Um, you'll also see in this particular shop, that at the very top is a device. Look at that. So, whenever we normally go to our ship, in these little slots that you're kind of wondering, well, how do you get these devices? Well, spoiler alert. <laughs> But we'll have more on the devices, I'm sure, uh, and how you can acquire them and everything that happens accordingly. But, uh, yeah. So, lots of wonderful things that we could buy from this merchant, I'm sure. I'm not going to go through it. But you can always uh, adjust these and, like, the stuff that you could rebuy, the stuff that you sold, right? Um, you could uh, change it to where your viewing is a little bit different so it's easier to, to see for you. Right, so you can see all of the equipment here from the shop as opposed to it out in the list. Um, you can organize it by item types, by cost. Just trying to add that level of convenience for you whenever you are at a station and you're trying to pick up all the things. We're gonna go ahead and change the weapons again. Um, let's go, let's go flak. I know Michael's a big fan of the flak. And let's go coil gun. So flak and coil gun, we're gonna keep things nice and rich and meaty. And we're going to complete another one of our jobs. I hope. What do we got? Shipping! Pick up the container at blank. I am fairly certain that blank is not an existing location. So we're going to abandon that one. And we're going to do search and destroy. We'll track this one. <clears throat> Except it's not showing our reputation. That's no problem. So we're going to eliminate the targets at that location. And away we go. I also really love how the background elements are actually there when you enter super light. Like, I don't know how many of you have, like, taken the time to really notice that. But it's like, those planets don't just vanish. Those planets are very much, like, on the, the map. Everything is very much there. Like, we can get way too close to this planet at not a viable location to go down to and explode. So we're not going to do that. But 
we're li- what we're liking how the scenes are coming together. Also, I haven't even mentioned this, but whenever you see that pop up at the top, that means that you are either entering or leaving a region, right? So like the GMB mining fields, we bridged into it. All of this location right here, this is the GMB mining fields. So most of the stuff in this territory is going to be owned by the GMB, give you options of the GMB, stuff like that. Oh, that's a good question about a 3D map. Um, let me let me just mention that for everybody, not just YouTube, so that everybody knows what was asked and what was said. Uh, also, let's turn off the engine so it's not in your ears. So the question was... What was the question? I think the question, is, I can't even find the question at the moment, but basically it's something along the lines of why a 2D map instead of a 3D map. Something something along those lines. And Michael's official response was, the world map is 2D because a 3D map would be too confusing, especially since Everspace 2 is not meant to be a space simulation, but rather an open world arcade spaceship shooter. And he's absolutely correct in that regard. I mean, as you can see, all of our combat and whatnot, yes, we have six degrees of freedom. Yes, there's things that are down there. There's things that are up here. There's an asteroid down there. Maybe there's something up here. Oh yeah, look at this little guy. Oh, he's so cute. Like there's obviously gonna be things that are in an open six degrees of freedom space, but at the end of the day, we're not shooting for some sort of like crazy realistic space sim here. Like we want you to be able to get to where you're trying to go without being confused. If we would have made this world map a sphere instead of a plane. Whew. <laughs> so two things, just just very basic two things on that. One, development time. Woof. And two, um, confusing. Abs- like the orientation itself, we would have to implement so many other utilities into the game so that you have your bearings straight, right? And that's a lot of time. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of, it's a lot of everything. And we want to put the focus right where you fly in, you blow stuff up and it feels good, right? We don't want you to have to spend 30 minutes. That music though, I like that. Oh, oh, this is an outlaw viper. We got a little too close. We're about to get scattergunned. Um, <clears throat> back up. Woo! For those of you who aren't familiar with the the Viper, let's actually look at him from far away first. <laughs> this flat cannon's uh, not doing justice for me. Oh, that meaty coil gun, though. Hang on. We're going to take this guy out, and then we're going to have a look at how it crashes everything. Are you serious, Kim? <laughs> it's fine. This is okay, because we have the save of the location. That Viper's going to be right there. Everything's fine. Everything is normal. Perfectly in sync. We're attuned to the development build where everything is magically happening perfectly. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to go into action freeze. Let's try that again. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, gotta get that sound back. <laughs> All right, Outlaw Viper. Here we go. We're gonna get kind of somewhat close and then we're gonna go right into camera mode. Let's go look at this. So a lot of you saw the concept art of the Viper. So now you get to see what it looks like in game. Now I'm, I think this is not a block out. Hans Christian, can you confirm that? Are you watching the stream, Hans Christian? Cause I know that you said that it would be totally fine to show it. I want to make sure this is these are the goods. So you can see it's got it's it's got some missiles. It's got some missiles on it. And it's closed structure. A very defined look as opposed to the other ships. So let's see what happens when we get up in close. We're going to use that flak to take out that drone real quick and then just watch watch what happens here. Oh, we got corroded. Ouch. Corroded by the Viper. Ah, yeah. So now you can see... Now you can see the flax that he's shooting. He's all opened up. Much like the mouth of a Viper itself. And he's shooting this 
super flocked. So the closer we get, like the closer we get to his mouth, basically the closer we get completely crushed. As I said, right, right away from him, but my superior dodging techniques. Man, this guy is, is beefy. But you can also see the way that he navigated there. He kind of did like this. He spun around and then flipped upwards to boost backwards. So we have some little maneuvers that your opponents will be taking on as well. Slowly but surely they're entering the game space and you're gonna see more of these little, these little moments and details. This guy's not too bad considering, um, or all things considered really. But these weapons kind of stink against him. Cause they're very much a, like this one's not too bad actually, but the flak is really good against a multitude of enemies. So firing one down sometimes be a struggle. Now is this guy gonna crash on me again? Is this, was it this guy? Is the madcap pod, right? Let's see if this crashes again for science. Nope, we're good, okay. Another outlaw drone. Perfect. Woo! Well, we have to pay in game cash for ammo. No. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the game. <clears throat> Man, we got, we got a couple enemies around here. Maybe another Viper? Yes! 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 Another Viper. Good. But we're gonna clear the search and destroy job first. And accrue our reputation. You have to pay in real life money for ammo. It's just ridiculous. No. Not even, not even close. Look. There are some, <clears throat> there are, there's nothing to see on the screen. I actually was just about to talk about all of the links that you should go to and explore where we have done so much work in our social community circles. It is so great to have you there um, when we're doing these showcases of a perfect stream that doesn't have any errors whatsoever, ever. Um, it's kind of crazy how we've never had any problems. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. You know what? I think I think it's actually a pretty decent time to transition in, into some of the community stuff, right? Let's talk about some of the community stuff that has been going on. You guys have been great and hard at work with uh, the things that you have been doing. So let's let's go there. So basically, um, this is my t this is my desktop. Oh, psh. Yeah, I kind of got to clean that up a little bit, but whatever. Um, we have a lot of really fun uh, imagery that people have been posting um, screenshots from the game and whatnot, but I actually, I wanted to drop attention specifically to Aptum41. I'm gonna, I hope that's how you pronounce his name, but he actually made this Lego build of, of a, um, of a striker, okay? And I, I think this is actually pretty cool. These are all the different angles that he provided. And then Matthias, uh, Matthias on the team was like, oh yeah, I can, I can do that too and provided the exact same shots, <laughs> except in-game. <laughs> it's just it's a lot of fun. Um, I think the, actually the wrong wings are on this. Uh, it should be the wings that are a little bit smaller and a little bit larger, but whatever. We had so much fun. Uh, just like seeing the art that you guys do and then comparison to, to what we're working on, um, it, very, it very much so is a delight. So you can, again, you can see um, you can see the Lego work that was done first. All right, this this was done first, then the response from Matthias was to provide the screenshots. But wow, isn't that freaking cool? Oh my gosh. Really, really love the stuff that you guys are doing, stuff that you're pulling off. So keep being awesome, keep building things. You know, it doesn't have to be out of Legos, make it out of freaking, I don't know, potted clay. Get your groove on with some chicken nuggets. I don't know, like, go go crazy, go ham. I know that some of you have 3D printers. Uh, it's good stuff. Oh, that was eight? This was made by eight? Oh gosh, seriously? <laughs> anyway. 
Yeah, so, sorry, Bloodstar. Yes, you did a fantastic job. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Anyway, it is beautiful. I love it. I love this work that I'm addressing the wrong community person. But anyway, yes, Bloodstar, you did a really good job. Uh, there's also some other like little screens that uh, from he's updating the build. He's adjusted the, the cockpit of the ship. Um, he also added like little blasters on the tops of the wings and stuff like that. Um, and is also adjusting like the joint system, like super detailed work here. That's pretty freaking sweet. Um, and so like, it'd be really cool if we had like a, <laughs> like a, a skin in the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are so much fun, but obviously we're having a lot of fun with what you're doing. So keep it up. Absolutely. Keep it up. Um, I know that we've also got a 3D artist who is kind of presenting his own little, uh, let me see if I can go back here, his own little 3D interpretation of one of our ships. So you can see here, this is one of the angles of it, uh, somewhat similar to a Sentinel. Pretty good stuff. Um, the name of the individual who made this is is blanking out on me for some silly reason. Let me pull this up because it's important. I want to honor you guys. Give me one second. Just gonna gonna find the name of the individual. Do, 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 do. Scrolling up. Okay, here we go. This was Excel, Excelsior, I believe. Is that it? Excelsior, is that you? And the YouTubes. But some pretty cool, some pretty cool stuff. That was in KSP. What's KSP? Yes, I just asked that. I know somebody out there's like, this guy's not a developer. He doesn't even know what KSP is. Kerbal, Sp a Kerbal Space Program. Oh my gosh, freaking, oh. Of course, yes. So yeah, and here it is again, uh, different angle. <laughs> yes, and I'm very familiar with Kerbal Space Program. Oh my gosh, I can't even, whatever. <laughs> Um, but yeah, some really cool stuff making out a Kerbal Space Program, making our ships. Isn't that neat? Excelsior, awesome stuff. Seriously. So take whatever tool that you have, take whatever game you have and build out something that you love of our stuff. I love it. We love it. We want to showcase it. It's some really good stuff. Um, so that's really neat. Um, so yeah. I really like the fan art that comes out of you guys. It's it's gorgeous. It's fantastic. And I want you guys to produce more of it. I think that we can have a lot of fun with um, the exploration of more ideas um, through what you guys put together. In fact, I think that would be really neat. Um, so yeah, don't, don't stop making things. Seriously, like in some cases, in a lot of cases, you inspire us, in fact. Like that's a very heartfelt sort of uh, transition there. But seriously, like it's... It's, um, it's very much, a it's very much a truth. Like whenever you guys are dropping down information in the discord or on the forums or showing something that you just really love, even if it's not in the fan art, heck, if it's like in the off topic, it's whatever. And it's, it's something else that maybe we've never heard of like rock it. Seriously, just completely be you and show the things that you love. And maybe there's something that you might end up seeing a little slice of you in ever space too. Woo, that would be really neat. Anyway, this concept art behind me, it's like something. I don't know. It's never been seen before. Um, <clears throat> but uh, there you go. <laughs> and that's that. That's it. All right. Uh, for those of you who missed the um, the, the Viper, um, I believe we got – oh, yeah, we got this one. This is the Viper. You can see the detail work on it. Yeah, I think the one that's in-game currently is a blockout, I think question mark i think there's more details that are coming um but yeah we're having a lot of fun with with putting all these things together being able to show you to you um oh my gosh it's just it's a blast it is a crazy blast for those who also missed the um dreadnought this is a very massive ship you can see these little fighters for scale there's a lot of different things that are still coming to the game not just little fighters but bigger ones much, much bigger ones. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's see. What what else do I got here? Do I have a... What's this one? What's this one? Oh, yeah. Was, you guys have seen that one before, but it's nice, crispy, crispy ship. 
I'm opening so many images on the computer. <laughs> How's that casually being shown? Hey, sometimes I just kind of like cruise over things. For funsies. All right. Cool. So we're going to close that. Oh, it was all of them. We also have we also have this one. This is uh we've shown this one a, a few times, but I just want to put emphasis on it because you can actually see the outlaw um, dreadnought in the background there, and then you also see the freelancer dr cargo drones that are in the front. Which we actually saw the wreckage of this uh, bef like before we crashed uh, within the game space. Uh, so you can see like there's all these little pods on top of them or drones that are holding the equipment as well. So if something were to go awry, say you're ambushed by a freaking outlaw dreadnought, uh, you can still escape this area with all of your stuffs. At least most of it. So, lots of fun things. Like, let's, let's go back to this one again, just because I know that you guys want to see it one more time, I'm sure. But uh, there's not too much I can comment on it for you. It's mostly a tease of things to come. It's mostly a tease. So I hope you guys enjoy that concept art behind me. We're pretty happy with the way that things are coming together. That ship might actually look a little familiar. At least it does to me. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. This uh, actually looks very similar to scanning in Everspace 1. Cool, cool. Neato. Very good stuff. I know I'm missing somebody's fan art. I know I'm missing it. But the Legos, I just, I wanted to make sure everybody's seen that. Um, because I really do love that work. And I want to see, I want to see so much more coming out of you guys. That would be amazing to see. I also just realized my face has been blocking the image. Let me just, you know, there we go, perfect. Nailed it. Uh, so you can see in that little lower right corner that it's Everspace 2 confirmed. That's right. Beautiful. All right. Um, I think what we're going to try and do is go back and see if we can get the chopboard working. I hope. Um, otherwise, we'll just fly around Everspace 2 for a little bit, do some battles, you know. And if you guys have more questions or want me to show something specific, I'll do my best to do that for the remainder of the stream, of which we have about approximately 20 minutes. So, um, yeah. So, this should be a good, good fun time. Uh, let me do the things to do the things. Perfect. Um, as always, I am. you really need to be involved with our community. Like, we really do have... <laughs> so much fun it's an absolute delight um whenever we get to see the stuff that you're working on just to be able to chat with you uh, out, out of hours office hours or even within them you know you guys have a lot of different ideas that the the discussion inside of the suggestions channel for discord is already absurd and it's going to explode when out whenever the alpha is launched because there's also going to be room on the forums as well there's going to be a lot of different territory to grow and just be a part of. So please, please, please join our community if you want to be uh, even remotely involved in the development of our game to see what's happening next. Obviously, another big thing is to continue to join these streams uh, because this is where we show new stuff, like the first time of that concept art, the first time showing our job boards, the first time showing the Viper actually in action. Like, this, these are a lot of first times, and you get those on these streams first. This is the place to go to see it. So definitely get all your friends, uh, get, get all up in this, because that's the way it goes. Okay, um, I am loading up my stuff. Hopefully nothing's going to crash anymore. Uh, I can dream, can't I? And we'll show you just a little bit more funsies. All right. So we are adjusting the audio. Perfect. We're back in the game. Excellent. Uh, we have this job to destroy these guys. I don't think I don't think it's necessarily working out for us. So we're just going to go to the missions, and we are going to eliminate this. We're going to abandon it. Uh, boom, it's gone. But you can see on our completion, let's look at this page again. I know some of you missed this already. Let's talk about this page one more time. This is your completion status 
in Everspace 2 as a whole, okay? It shows your reputation here. It also shows the challenges that you have been, uh, that you've received and completed. And then it also shows all of your statistics for your players, okay? So there's, it's all the things are here, okay? And it's important to note that this is not, like this isn't done, right? So if you're looking at this and be like, oh, there's not that much stuff or whatever, you know, some snide person out there watching, I know, I know you're there. Obviously there's gonna be a lot more. Obviously challenges will be unlocked and available to do. But like, there's gonna be a lot of different reputations that you can track and follow and gain benefits from by completing tasks of these specific factions. And again, like, this isn't just Outlaw, Okar, GMB, right? The, there's three different elements to the GMB itself. Three different sub-factions, if you will. And they might not always be playing nice with one another depending on what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish. Based on all of these things, you can get some really cool benefits like having the corrosion effects you cause deal all their damage in half the time. Whew. All right. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. It's, it's kind of nice that I'm able to click on all of these for you now. All of your memes of saying press E. Guess what? I can do it. I can do it. I can also press Q. Hmm. It's all been shown. Take that. <laughs> Obviously, there's going to be more additions that I won't be able to show you, but it feels good. All right. Let's fly out somewhere and try and do some things. End of an era. I see what you did. Okay, let's find a site that has been revealed that we can destroy stuff. We actually haven't been, <laughs> we actually haven't been to our home base yet. Uh, that might actually trigger a mission. We can't do that. Um, let's go to let's go to the scrapyard. We should be able to do that, no problem. Maybe it won't crash. And if it does crash, I've got another game plan. Don't you worry. If it does crash, everything will be fine. Oh, okay. I see a really good question in chat. Um, when you eliminate a mission, will it have consequences as well? I love that question. So the short answer is that we didn't crash and I'm so happy. <laughs> Um, the short answer is that we want to make sure that the job board isn't super crazy complicated to where, um, like, like the repercussions for choosing something and then removing it are like dire, right? It's not like if you tell a guy, Hey, I'm going to collect your shipment and then take it across the, the, the station or the uh, solar system. Um, you tell him, I can't do that. It's not like everyone's going to go, Oh yeah, you know what? Now you're, now you're like freaking we gotta eliminate you, we can't We can't take this. There will probably be repercussions for taking on jobs that you can't complete, for sure, for sure. How that affects your reputation tracker, how that affects um, your allegiance, that's gonna depend on a number of factors. One of those factors we actually haven't shown you in game, but we did tease it pertaining to the regions. When we were talking about regions, maybe you guys remember, uh, maybe I even have a still image. Maybe I can find this really quick. Um, but essentially, we showed the equivalent of a wanted star system within a region. Um, I'm not seeing an image right off the bat. I would have to dig. I'd rather just I'd rather just play and, and talk about stuff. So basically, um, the wanted system would allow you to increase your or decrease your reputation with a particular audience within regions so like if you if while we're in this uh region of the gmb mining fields the entire time we're in here gmb could really freaking hate our guts all of these areas that we go to until we leave this area like we go over to open space or we go back to our home turf there's gonna be that type of interactions that can occur as well within the game. And a lot of those systems, I don't think are actually, I don't even think they're implemented yet. If they are, 
Um, I don't know how to access them. But um, basically, we'll have a lot more to talk about those relationships that you have using your reputation. Oh, right here. Like using your reputation and how that's going to impact the locations that you would even travel to. Not just to get jobs, but just like where you go. Like that's specifically, that's it, right? So there's a lot of different uh, elements to the reputation system without overcomplicating it. I know that was so such an elaborate response, but long story short, if you cancel a mission, we don't want it to be dire repercussions. There might be like a slight loss in your standing. And we want to have a lot of weight to completing missions too and how you interact with different factions. So that's where the whole region and reputation system applies as well. Whew. Another question, will every single region at the map be controlled by another faction? It's possible. I know that some people were talking about and asking about if regions could be taken over by like neighboring factions and stuff. We'll have to talk about that in a future stream because as of right now, my lips are sealed. All right, let's fly down here and see if there's any new stuff to show on this planet, shall we? Man, it looks, it looks different from all the way up here, doesn't it? Looks different. We see a scrapyard down there. We see a fallen station. That door is open. We could go in there. <clears throat> a lot of gunk on the ground. But I think we want to go over here. I've been challenged to a race. <laughs> this isn't just to show you guys. This is personal. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Here we go. All right. So this is just a, this is just one example of like a little mini game that you can find in certain areas. This isn't even done yet. I think that we're planning on uh, decorating these a bit further with sounds and all that type of stuff. That'll be good. Mm. Hydrate, boys and girls. It's important. All right. Here we go. We gotta stay focused, tuned. We gotta hit them rings. Uh, up, up. Okay, all right, good. Everything's a little bit fine. Ow, that's fine. We can buff out those scratches. Tight turn. Okay, up, down. It's feeling pretty good, I think. Oh, oh, dang it! No, I missed the ring! No, we gotta make up our time! Boost! Boost! Okay. Things are coming together! Things are coming together! Ah! I think I missed my target. <laughs> It still feels pretty good though. All right, I'm happy with those results. I've got to try again. <laughs> We're gonna do one more time. Ooh, all right. I think we're shooting to get um, a net gain of 30 seconds. So the, there's two different timers. There's the timer of how long it took, and then there's the timer of how much time you had left to complete the track. Um, and the timer of how long it took is at the top, and the timer of extra bonus time you got was the lower one. I want that lower one to be over 30 seconds. Whew. We got to try this again. Star Fox, that you? I know, right? That would be amazing. But okay. All right, here we go. All right. We're going to line things up right out of the gates. Gotta keep our speed up. Not boostings for squares, right? Oh, this is feeling, this is feeling pretty decent. I think we're doing a lot better. All right, here we go. Let's bounce up. Oh, okay, this is working. All right, come on. Slow down a little bit. Okay, we actually need to get our boost back. We used all our boost. That's a good sign, right? Come on, home stretch. 
Oh, that's- we're feeling real good right now. Oh, baby! Get freaking wrecked! Oh my gosh! Yes! Suck on that! <laughs> okay, yeah. I feel much better about the challenge that I was given. Alright. Take that. <laughs> I know the person who challenged me is watching, so, um... <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> All right, let's go back to this GMB scrapyard. <laughs> and then we'll spawn in some enemies and we'll duke it out on this planet as our kind of last uh, situational thing going on here. I don't think there's any jobs to take on over here. Um, no, there's not. But we can at least... Uh, oh, we can't even... Yeah, we'll keep this fine. Go ahead and think about what ships... Uh, or excuse me, not ships. Uh, go ahead and think about what... Uh, weapons you want me to uh, use in this engagement. I'm gonna go ahead and populate some dudes uh, so that we can battle. Sorry about the double music there. I missed a button. <clears throat> but yeah, choose choose the types of weapons you would like to see me utilize. It'll be fun. We can showcase some stuff here right at the end of the stream for you all. It's always a pleasure having these streams. I've really enjoyed your guys' company. Uh, so yeah, let's just let's just treat you a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to spawn in vipers, otherwise I would. They haven't been set up in our cheat menu yet. Okay, I think we've got everything set up. I think we have the game space to make it happen. All right, we see Neutron Cannon. <laughs> the Arc 9000, Goo Gun, oh my gosh. You guys are silly and I love you for that. So thank you, very clever, but uh, unfortunately no, none of those things I can uh, utilize. And I think you knew that, it's very clever. But uh, I don't see any weapons that were really mentioned, so we're gonna go ahead and choose our own. Um, let's do the blaster, because it's nice and ridiculous. And we're also gonna use this beam laser, because it's nice and consistent. So we have the not consistent and the consistent. But we have the pretty good damage and the average damage. So, let's go ahead and see what happens as a result of all of this. Maybe the game will crash, I don't know, but that's fine, right? Go ahead and make our minefield. Oh my gosh, it's it's actually working pretty effectively. All right, so now we got to take out this big boy. Woo! Whoops! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Almost dead. Ouch! Alright, we can do this. We have the technology. Nice and consistent damage. Not as consistent damage. Alright, let's try and... Yikes! This guy's really kind of a problem. Oh, ouch! We need different weapons. Here, let's change our weapons really quick. Oh, inventory. Alright, uh, let's see. I might just go back to our standard auto cannon because I see a lot of armor happening. So we're gonna do that. Beam laser is gonna be good up close. Man, if only those 
If only these bombers didn't have smart AI, let me tell you what. But I think we can take out this scout fairly well if we're careful with our dodging. Yes! Oh, no! No! Come back here! No! Ugh! Oh, I went too fast! <laughs> too fast! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. These guys are big beefcakes! Let's try and let's try and bring this guy down. Literally. No, get Rex. There we go. Maybe the minefield he makes we can utilize to our benefit. Gosh, we didn't even get a minefield. I'm surprised. Actually, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Got him. Oh! Woo! It's a bit of a rough patch here. There's only one way that I feel like we could end a battle like this. And if we're going down, we gotta take somebody with us. I really want to get this bomber out of the way. Man, he's... Oh, that's not good. Shields are not looking pretty. Come on. Come on. Go down. We're isolating him. Yes. 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 Oh, get out of there. Woo. There's so many missiles coming at us. Our ship, uh, our ship has probably seen better days. <laughs> oh, goodness gravy. Oh, yikes. We can actually see the interior of the ship <laughs> based on how it's getting ripped to shreds. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a good look. Oh, gosh. Who's going to help me uh, get some elbow grease out on that uh, exterior and buff out those scratches, huh? <laughs> yikes. Okay, this bomber. We got to... We gotta engage! Quickly! Oh! A little too much booster speed. Okay, line up! Okay, wait, we can... Pop into the ground? Yes! Shieldless! Got him! Oh! Alright. We just have... We just have some petty outlaw... Petty outlaws at this point, right? Oh, those are missiles! Gotta watch out for those. We're getting close. Oh man, this the stream's supposed to be it's supposed to have ended. It's so intense, guys. At least take out. We gotta take out one more guy. Get wrecked! Oh, that feels good. Whoa! All right, we're gonna just zip on out of here. Whew. As you can see, combat is fast and fierce in Everspace 2. Oh my gosh. I hope you enjoyed that little section there. All of them were at the same level that I was, by the way. So you can be expected to where if you're going to locations that are just average at best, that's the type of combat situations that you will be encountering in Everspace 2 whenever we get to that rich alpha that's coming soon. Just a couple of weeks, boys and girls. You heard it here right now. Like, we're aiming for an early June. So sit tight, and uh, it's coming. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this stream and showcasing the job board. I know that we didn't get through as much as we would have liked, but you've got a good sample of what that reputation system looks like and how you get honored for continuing your work with a particular faction, uh, including benefits that you get for being in the know with them. So there's a lot more coming, of course. Um, we hope that you will continue to enjoy these streams and come join all of our channels, as you know, are on the Discord, over on Twitch, Mixer, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, I'm missing something. I, I know I'm mixing something. Um, but all of the things, uh, definitely follow us, stay in the know. Uh, we want to show you everything, everything possible uh, that we are currently working on whenever it is in a state to be shown. So everybody, like seriously, I really do appreciate the time that you make 
to join these streams, to interact with us, to ask your questions, and just have a generally good time. It is so much fun. Absolutely a blast to do this with you. So um, be working on your fan art because next week we will do the same thing where we showcase maybe something a little bit new and at the very least highlight all the things that we've been covering up to this point. Uh, plus, show the stuff that you've been working on because we love it. We absolutely love it. So guys, don't stop being awesome. I won't stop being Eric Schrader, your community ambassador for Rockfish Games. We'll catch you in the next stream. Toodles! Oh, I saw a really good question. I just want to answer it really quickly for everybody who's out there still hanging out in the chat. The question was, can we add this wish list on Steam now? Yes, you can. You can go to Steam, search for Everspace 2, add it to your wish list. That actually helps us a ton. So if you do that, you'll not only be in the know through all of our social activities and whatnot, but you'll also be in the know through Steam itself. So definitely go wishlist us on Steam for your benefit and also for ours. Cool.